Hello folks, how you doing? Now before we begin, just to let you guys know, I'm not going to be talking about the Final Fantasy XIV main quest scenario at all. Everything in this video is just going to stay with the raid, the Yorha raid, so you don't have to worry about main quest scenario spoilers. And with that being said, just know that I have only compiled everything that I found inside the raid. After you beat the raid, you're able to actually just run through it by yourself, find files, look through it in a menu, which is amazing. We'll, we'll get to that, just know that there will be no no spoilers from the main quest scenario, only on the Yorha Raid, and if you don't want to hear that, well, I don't know what to tell you, why'd you click on the video anyway? But yes, there will be spoilers awry about the Yorha Raid, and if you don't care about the story, then welcome, and if you do care about the story, then welcome, but if you don't want to know anything more, like, I'll try not to show the last boss, but uh, if you don't want to see all that towards the end, I'll let you guys know. Anyway, let's begin. So, the guests for this raid, this time, is Yosuke Saito and Yokotoru. Now, Yokotaru is something that you should already know, that's, that's the somebody who made Nier Automata and he's very weird very very weird uh, Yosuke Saito also helped in the Nier series and he's been a great help with Yokotaro but the great mastermind behind the story I'm pretty sure is Yokotaro and his well, vagueness is within the story of the Yurha Raid. You actually start out typical with some NPC talking about something, then you go over to another location, and then more NPCs says stuff about something, which doesn't seem like it actually relates to the certain something that you're trying to get to. So basically, these dwarves are having a thieving problem. Turns out you caught the thief, but there was something more. Whatever he was guarding inside that little enclave or that tunnel that's being worked in, uh, there's something in there and, well, what you find is this. Somehow, you stumble upon an ambush by the machines, who then turn their gaze upon you, except for the fact that these two actually just took care of business by throwing bombs everywhere. Yeah, I, I was so prepared to just kick these machines, but, but I, I guess that's not going to happen here. So, this person actually wakes up and tells you that there is an emergency that happens to be beyond this tunnel. And... But what you find beyond a tunnel, it's kind of amazing. This facility is called the Copied Factory, and the wording of the name should ring a few bells here because it's copied. It's a copied factory, which leads me to my first theory. You see, the Copied Factory is actually the copy of a factory that you explore in Nier Automata. It's basically the first stage. You see this aesthetic all the time in Nier Automata, but how did it get here and why are they here? You see, the copied factory is almost a replica of the same thing with the same enemies that you have to fight, including one of them being a giant robot. But somehow, 2P, not 2B, ended up here in a not so good condition. She's willing to help you go through the factory, fighting off everything that's going on here. Like, she really does lead the way. She fights alongside you, including the bosses, and, well, I, I, I like that. I really do like that. Having one of the characters actually fight alongside you throughout the entirety of the dungeon is pretty ingenious, and I think that was more of uh, Yoshida's help. Anyway, 2P, helping you get through the factory, brings you all to the end where you find well i'm going to leave that to you guys if you want to take on the raid well just know that it's a very big surprise and for those of you who don't care well i'm just gonna leave this warning here give you about five seconds before i tell you about the last boss yep just giving you that time so you can skip there's the there's a time where you can skip i even put it in the descriptions down below so you can skip this part all right, I gave you enough time. You fight 9S. Of all the enemies, you fight 9S. Now, it does correlate to the game Near Automata. You do fight 9S in Near Automata, but not as 2B, as another android. And we could get onto that, but the story of Near Automata is all over the place and well, I don't want this video being an hour long. You see, 2P needs your help getting through the factory so that she can take out her target. That target being, well, the last boss. And the last boss is trying to hunt down 2P. So you help 2P even though you have no idea who they are. And this intrigues the two dwarves who are with you, one of which had their curiosity spike, for which you had to make a choice, either to sit around and wait or explore 
the entirety of the raid dungeon. Now, this is something that I really like about this raid. You can go back, explore the entirety of the dungeon, and find files. These files have information like research and expeditions and weapon fragments. Now, the weapon fragments are a bit confusing because it's almost like a poem or a haiku. I would say more of a poem, and I'm not really too sure what it's supposed to pertain. Maybe it's something of a reference from Nier Automata. The machine research and the expeditions are the more important and probably the most intriguing things within the files. The tattered flyer and the memory of a broken machine is uh it's 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 intriguing it might actually tell you more about the lore but that goes into the line of theories and well i just want to talk about what i know first first the expedition files which i believe was written by 2p i think she was on an expedition to explore the terrain and planet I believe there's something more to this. There shouldn't be any reason why she is uh, just making an expedition file or how she's taking note of habitats and life forms and fresh water. There has to be a reason why this expedition file is here and perhaps it's not 2P, but my best guess is that 2P wrote these expedition files because she is on an expedition on a new world. The machine research report I believe were made by the final boss of the raid and if you've already skipped that part where I talked about the final boss and who it is, well then you probably already know who it is if you are making guesses or if you have already seen the final boss then yeah, I believe it was him who made the research reports. These machines are intriguing and he was very intrigued in Nier Automata by the machines. He looked into them and at one point I believe he actually became one of them, and that's a hint, sorry, a little bit of a spoilers there for those who skipped the spoiler section. Yeah, I believe that he made those reports. Now, the tattered flyer, the weapon fragment, and the memory, well, we already know where the memory came from. It's from a machine who has kill on the mind and doesn't know what the heck they're doing. The tattered flyer and the weapon fragments are something of a kin of a vague mystery to me because I don't know where it's come from and if it's a reference from Nier Automata, please let me know in the comments below. The Tattered Flyer is something that I'm trying to figure out as well. And again, if you guys know what the Tattered Flyer says in whole, please let me know in the comments below. I do want to talk more about those as well. Now, what does all of this culminate to? Well, it just goes to show that nothing is outside the realm of reality for Final Fantasy XIV. We've already had crossovers from other Final Fantasy games. Why not Nier Automata, a totally different game? I believe that 2P came from Earth, the destroyed Earth, traveling across the stars until they found Eorzea, or another habitable planet. Now, instead of fixing up Earth, which I'm sure other androids are trying to do at the moment, or it's just a few of them left, they wanted to find another place to at least coexist with the habitat since humans are... Well, they want to start anew, and I believe they came to Eorzea from way across the galaxy, landed here, and needed an expedition to figure out if it's livable. Now, I'm not sure why machines or androids need to figure out if the planet is livable, but okay, yeah, sure. These expedition reports, I believe, coming from 2P, uh, she reported that the place is pretty habitable. Now, the copied factory, I'm not really too sure why the factory was put there in the first place or where the machines came from. The machines are really the most mysterious things here. I would say that perhaps the final boss brought the machines here, brought the factory here so it could be populated by the machines, but I think there's something more to it. 2P did not really like the machines, she fought against the machines with you and had a mission, though we don't know what the mission is since she's asleep now. I believe there's something more to it, like perhaps she was here on a mission with the final boss until something happened with the final boss or her, which caused a bit of a conflict between the two, and perhaps the machines were here to help as service, maybe not here to invade, maybe they're here for something else. Or perhaps Nier Automata's little premise of the machines where, you know, they go psycho or haywire and something happens to them mentally and, well, 
the machines went haywire, the final boss went haywire. They're all machines anyway. The androids are just human shaped machines and the machines are just machines. So perhaps a virus hit them just like what happened in Nier Automata? I don't know, but it is a very intriguing theory and story to walk into. Now, they're not giving us much. There isn't much on these reports, whereas in Nier Automata, they would just flood your menu and your pages. You wouldn't be able to not go throughout the game without getting these files. And getting all the files to piece together the story was one of the fun things for me about Nier Automata. But seeing how we have living sentient creatures and the machines and the androids don't seem to bat an eye at the fact that they're talking to sentient living civilized people, perhaps there is something more to it that we're missing. Why they are here, what is their mission? It, it, we we want to know the who, what, where, why, when, and how, basically. Some would say that you need to know Nier Automata in order to get this raid story, but I don't believe that is. I think this is its own original story. I believe what they're making here is a culmination that works and fits within the story without many big holes in the plot because you know how they go especially this man here who likes to put holes in his plot and make it vague and you have to go and find it throughout his game it just gets complicated god damn it but anyway i believe the holes in the plot are there for vague reasons which i believe they will fill and all we have to do is be patient other than that i think there are a bunch of theories that pertain to this like i said before the why they are here not the when who is it well we have two of the cast at the very least and the machines are in the mixed and where well basically here in norveron which begs me to ask how did they end up here in this world and not in the source that is another question i should be asking because if they're going to be here in norveron then perhaps the source Norvront and all the other worlds are literally separate worlds which goes into credence of them coming together making cataclysmic catastrophes and calamities all over the world every time they fuse together it's I don't know something something physical here is going on Anyway, that's all I have for today. What do you guys think of these theories, of this lore, of the vagueness of it all? Have you guys done the raid? Did you beat the raid? Did you play the raid? Did you get the pet? Uh, I didn't. But we'll talk about more of this next time and more of the lore in Final Fantasy XIV, which, by the way, I'm going to be sticking with that from now on. If any of you guys are wondering where the guides are, well... I'm sorry, they're not here at this very moment, but lures will still come out for 14 henceforth. Alright, you guys have a good day, and good night. Thanks for watching.